Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Savix and last week I asked you guys to give me some questions and today I got to ask these two lovely people these questions. If these interest you, stick along, and if they don't, stick along anyways. Also, sorry for the bit of scuffness, I'm more of a Discord guy and the call was recorded on Zoom. So, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Yeah, you can start. Hi, I am Ana Resendez, a lead software engineer for the World of Warcraft Classic team. And I'm really excited to talk about Hardcore Classic today. Hello. And hey, Savix. Good to meet you. I'm Clay Stone, associate production director on the WoW Classic team. And the process of developing Hardcore has been extremely exciting for the team. Uh, we've watched the community uh, participate in it for a number of years now. And bringing official realms has just been a, a labor of love for us. Uh, so yeah, very excited to, to be here and, and talking about it with you. Hi, okay. Uh, my name is Savix, and obviously it's a pleasure meeting you both. You guys done an amazing job in the PTR. And whenever there was issues, you guys kind of cleared them out pretty fast. So thank you so much for that. And we get to finally see it come alive. Yeah. And I guess with that being said, are you guys ready for the questions? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. First question of the day. In the future, could we expect a SSF mode, which means solo cell phone mode in a separate server, or perhaps a toggle to activate in the character creation screen? And maybe if we could even take it further, like an extreme hardcore server, which has no Petri or world buff, would that be like a possible thing? So yeah, when we looked at developing official hardcore realms, uh, one of the biggest challenges was actually deciding what, what do we change? I mean, there's so much that we could change. There's so much that right. we could add. What rule set outside of the fundamental uh, death equals the, the end of your, your character's journey. Um, <laughs> yeah. we, we have certainly seen uh, over the life of the PTR and looking at, at how players uh, participated in hardcore on uh, what we're calling the unofficial realms uh, in the hardcore challenge, uh, a strong desire uh, for some sort of self-found option or a way to play that way. That is something we have heard loud and clear over the course of the PTR. Uh, and so what we are looking at adding is a cell phone option, which uh, when players create their character uh, or shortly after, they would be able to uh, enable something that uh, no longer allows them to use the auction house, uh, use mail or trade uh, and progress through the entirety of their journey uh, with that, um, okay. that, that option enabled. I, um, I think people will be really happy to hear about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's been interesting. What when we think about the way that we have created these hardcore realms, they're really meant to be a, a broad sandbox that then players could add even further additional challenges uh, for for them to place on themselves. But when we look at what we're able to support given our uh, our capabilities, uh, something like that cell phone option is is definitely one that that we're pursuing. We don't currently have plans to to go beyond that, uh, but it's definitely something like as as we mentioned before, right? Like, hardcore uh, really came from uh, and us from the community, and we're listening. So, if there is something that the community is really really excited about, or if they have any ideas, we're more than happy to to hear about it, right? And then uh, we can see whether if uh, that makes sense, right? Because uh, that's something that we really try to do is keep in mind. The whole population of World of Warcraft, because um, there's also a lot of people that uh, enjoy coming and playing the game that uh, might not be very vocal, and that's when we have to rely on other things like you know using uh, data to track the actions of players and stuff like that, and that's how we can determine uh, how people are also engaging with the content. So it's something that we definitely take into consideration before making any decisions, uh, but. We're really excited to hear from from the community. Yeah, I guess they could like write in the comments if there's anything they would suggest and then maybe you guys could take it back, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. All right. I guess second question would be, you guys kind of answered it, but along the future, would you guys be down to add in titles for players leveling as Iron Man, which is only using gray slash white quality gear or like a nudist where you wear like no gear at all? I think adding these titles and achievements, players would really appreciate that. Yeah, that's definitely something we can. We're excited to hear about. Like, there's so many like different, and this endless like ways yeah. that you can <laughs> that you can go into these. Um, 
as as Clay mentioned, we really like this first iteration of hardcore. We really wanted to make sure that it was as open as possible. Like as he mentioned, I really like the word uh, a sandbox where you can just really do whatever you want in it, right? And uh, engage. Mm -hmm. uh, without like all the restrictions being put there for you. We really want to stay away from like being very specific of like, this is the way that we envisioned you playing our game. We we want to leave it more open. So uh, people are the ones that make their own journeys. That said, we're not, we're not going to um, stop force. you. Yeah. yeah, force you, right? Like we're not going to force you to also Playing rules don't that people do don't want to play right? on. Yeah, because yeah. there is a big group of people that, don't like SSF and I think the people that were traditionally using the add-on in the era servers for the mm -hmm. hardcore they want the SSF mode so it's like split and I, I guess you guys yeah. are right in a way and I can see that and I mean one of the biggest differences is that in the unofficial servers when people were using the add-on not everyone in that server were participating in the challenge right so the add-on needed to be very very restrictive because if you have trade then you could potentially trade with people that are not part of the challenge. And then it starts to become, especially in era servers where there's people that were original classic release, season mm -hmm. of mastery transfers. Yeah. So there's like a lot of like different shenanigans going on there. So I understand how it could, it would have to be more restrictive just because of the nature of the servers. Uh, but coming here, everybody is participating on the challenge. Everyone has one life. So uh, it's a very different environment. So that's why we decided like, hey, we don't want to be restrictive to begin with. Um, that said, we have heard, as you mentioned, from many people in the community that they would really like to continue with that challenge. So it's something that we're talking about, um, uh, the self-found part of it, uh, of restricting yeah. trading and all of that. Personally, for me, I would like SSF mode, but I'm open to anything and I'm happy we're getting a server. So I'm going to enjoy <laughs> the way you guys are providing it. And maybe in along the month, you guys make the SSF mode or we could just do the challenge again with the add-ons. Right? I guess the only other thing I would add to that is, you know, speaking of, of additional challenges, if you remember in Season of Mastery, we, we kind of dipped our toe a little bit in, into an Iron Man challenge where we had a, a buff that players could enable called Soul of Iron. Uh, they would carry that with them uh, through to level 60. And if they died, they, they would lose that. They would lose that. Buff. True. Yeah. And it, if they progressed all the way through, let's say, defeating Ragnaros, uh, then they would earn Survivor of the Fire Lord in the tooltip on the buff. So what is great is when players start these official realms, they can go to Undercity or they can go to Ironforge and they can enable that same buff for themselves. It won't be something new that's exclusive only to uh, these new hardcore realms but it is the same system that was enabled for season mastery all right number three you guys have killed it with the anti-griefing so big thank you to that and going forward could we expect the same with the botting problems there's like an ongoing botting especially in uh ras servers people would love to hear any solutions or any plannings you guys are doing for that yeah, well, first, thank you. Uh, when it comes to the PvP thing and making that uh, consensual and opt-in, that was a huge focus of the team, both on the design and, and the engineering side to protect against some of the shenanigans that we were seeing on, on the unofficial realms. When it comes to botting, uh, this is something that is top of mind for us at all times. It is uh, something that we uh, work together with our global security team constantly on. Uh, we, we published a blue post about this a while back, um, in which we went into, into detail on our, on our thoughts on bots and our ongoing efforts uh, to combat them. Uh, one of the big challenges about us talking about it is the more that we talk about it, uh, the more insight that we give into it and this, this ongoing battle against the bots, uh, the, the more self-defeating it becomes. Um, mm. we, we can't talk a lot about uh, the specifics of our ongoing efforts, um, mm -hmm. but I can promise you that uh, uh, it is a battle that we are fighting and it is one that we are not gonna stop fighting. Um, we definitely recognize that that makes it a little bit of a, a black box and that can certainly be frustrating though, um, but we're committed to continuing uh, this fight uh, and we we do want to be as transparent about it as we can be um, because it's incredibly important to the team and we know it's incredibly important to the player base too. Could we be helpful to you by doing anything or is yeah, there nothing I, we can really do? You know, I uh, I would say 
r reporting is actually mm. it it it's huge. It, it works. It really does. I would please continue when you see uh, behavior like this. Our team does receive those reports. Uh, we action uh, extremely quickly. So yeah, they, they're, they're important. And that is certainly one way that the, the player base can continue to help us in these efforts. Okay, got it. I will let them all know and inform them for that. Number four would be Hardcore Classic is coming out on August 24th. And with it coming out, many have been wondering, will we get a server list as well as can we reserve our characters? Kind of like Classic Relaunch did it. That way we don't have to like panic in the character screen and have like five backup names in case one is stolen or not, right? Yeah, um, we currently don't have plans to do this. Um, as far as you know, the server list and all of that uh, is something that we're going to be monitoring. Um, our plans is not to come out with several servers at once. Um, mm. We want to start uh, a little bit smaller on the smaller side. And, okay. react, and and we have servers ready to go in case uh, there's a, a huge demand, right? But the whole idea is to start small and kind of like have the community be in a server and then like as expand if needed uh, or as needed. Um, but there's no currently any plans to create any kind of name reservations. Um, I think also in hardcore, uh, the dynamics might be a little bit different too in the sense of like, People are going to be creating more characters than uh, in the main game uh, where or non hardcore realms because you might die. So you might have to go again <laughs> and maybe try a new one. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's going to be a little bit different. And I, I understand that it's not, you know, what people might prefer, like uh, having a name mm. reservation would be the ideal, but uh, we're not going to be uh, giving that option to the players. Do you know, like, how many servers? estimate like we would have because I, I like the idea of having like less servers so that we would have more people in one server right it's it's one of the scenarios where our thinking on it is uh the fewer the better but there's mm -hmm. a very fine balance there and as Anna mentioned you know it's something we we are good at actively monitoring particularly around a launch as we monitor the the growth of uh of a realm we could say that in in uh the us and eu there will certainly be more than one uh and we're just going to see how it goes as we continue to monitor things <laughs> on the 24th and, okay. and that weekend. All right. I'm just going to hope we don't like lag because there might be a lot of people too, right? But... It, it would be a great problem to have for sure. Uh, we're, we're, we're hoping uh, it would be a great problem. It, it, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. And and from the technology side of things, we're always, you know, working on the technology of it and trying to optimize uh, those situations, right? Of like making it um, a better flow for the players too. Um, I know it, it, it's it's hard uh, to to really keep you guys updated on all of the changes that happen in the server side of things, but we are doing optimizations and stuff to have like a better uh, experience for the players, especially when we're considering uh, more people. Gotcha. All right, number five. Um... Not only are people excited for classic hardcore, but the next season of Mastery and in one of the interviews you guys gave, it, it was clear that it wouldn't be season of Mastery. Could we get like a little bit insight or hint about it? Because so many of us are excited for it, right? Gosh, it, it, this is one <laughs> of the scenarios we would love to. Uh, uh -huh. Unfortunately, today is not that day. Uh, okay. I, I, okay. Will, I will I tried. reaffirm <laughs> uh, what, what you said. We. We did announce that we are working on a new season. Uh, mm. It is not season of mastery. And, and part of the reason why we wanted to do that um, for full transparency is we, we wanted to make sure that the player race didn't think that hardcore was our next season. Um, was, was kind of the reason why we were so upfront. Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. All right. That answers that. And keep, keep, keep posted though, because it's going to be really, really fun. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. Can we expect... keep, keep an eye on it. <laughs> Can we expect like a date when you guys will talk about it, or is that not something to talk about too? Yeah, Gosh. unfortunately, we can't. <laughs> okay, really yeah, that's totally dates. fine. I would, yeah, I, would, I would just say keep an eye. On yeah, it. we'll keep an eye. <laughs> You'll out. know. What, like, I don't think you're gonna miss it. Uh, whenever we say more about it, I, I don't, I don't think you're, you're gonna be missing it. Okay. We're gonna make sure that that it's known by the community once we're ready to talk about it. Okay, number six. This one's kind of a big reach too. 
Um, I grew up being a big fan of Blizzard games from Warcraft 1, 2, 3, Starcraft, Brood War, Diablo, you name it. I played everything and consumed all the Blizzard products. And back then, like Starcraft and Warcraft had Battle.net, allowing people to create their own custom maps. And they were extremely fun. And this leads up to the question, in the future, could we ever get a server in World of Warcraft where we could make our own game modes too? Like this could prevent private servers and infinite content for the players. I know it's a big question. You know, thinking back to those creation tools and those games, I, I am right there with you that I, I think about particularly StarCraft and the custom maps that, mm. that I would make when playing with my friends. And uh, I, I have incredibly fond memories of that. Um, unfortunately, nothing, nothing to announce on, on that front today. Uh, we, mm. we have heard that discussion um, come up in the, in the community. Uh, but thinking a little bit about more about hardcore, um, one of the things that we are most interested in, though, is seeing what challenges players uh, continue to put on themselves uh, as they play through the hardcore experience. And there's a lot of creation that's uh, uh, that's allowed in, in that space with these these additional uh, player created uh, challenges. Uh, but as far as uh, servers are, are concerned, nothing to discuss on that today. Gotcha. All right. And this uh, last question is a bit of a meme, but I get this asked okay, all the okay. time. I guess the audience is always wondering, will you guys ever sell like a token to resurrect in hardcore? It's no, right? We definitely have no plans. We really want to ensure that, you know, coming August 24th, people know that they only have one life, right? Um, hmm. And that... Uh, that's the challenge for it. And we really don't see uh, like having a, an option like that uh, being added for for like hardcore. Um, okay. Definitely not on our plans. Um, so yeah, I know it, it can be a meme a little bit, but yeah. No, that's on, good on that you guys plans. are answering yeah. it like that because people are saying they're going to sell tokens to Reza. I'm like, dude, they're not going to do that. Come on. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's awesome then. It, it will. I don't know if we touched on it already. We we are allowing players to if they if their character dies, we are allowing free character migration migrations off of the hardcore realms to to normal. Oh realms. yeah, yeah. I think that's really cool that you guys are adding that. So if you fall in love with your character and you don't want to go again, you want to roll a, a you don't want to roll a brand new character on hardcore. You can continue that character's journey uh, elsewhere, but uh, in the era uh, server, right? For free. Yeah, in the era server. servers. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, really cool. And you can roll as many characters idea. as you want on hardcore too. So you can you can keep starting again, start again at level one, try a different class. Uh, the, um, it, it really uh, there are so many experiences ready to be had on on the hardcore servers. There, there's no reason not to go again. You can also be a ghost going around. If you're or, yeah. Elf. or the yeah. blob. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think these are fantastic additions to the game. And thank you guys. That was all my question. Yeah, I have a, a question for you. Sure. Uh, what is the what? What are your plans? Are you planning on uh, playing a priest for the in the twenty? Priest? Um, probably not a priest. I've done many hardcore characters on my stream and the YouTube channel. I think this time I'll be playing a rogue. Oh, fancy! Yeah, rogue that sounds fun. fun. What about yeah. you guys? Do you guys have any plans? Uh, yeah, I am planning on playing uh, a, a a mage. I really like. I usually play okay. priest. Age is good, um, mm -hmm. but I was like, mm, I don't, mm, I don't know if I want <laughs> the challenge of being the healer and then like accidentally, you know, like not healing on time and then I get blamed <laughs> for it. Uh, so I was yeah. like, I, I think a mage sounds sounds fair. Uh, definitely, the people that I'm planning with play with uh, already have someone that is gonna be mage healing. Mage is a me. fantastic option. Yeah, so it's really excited. Really How mm -hmm. would you play? I want to. I know we you had mentioned watching the Wildcast. I want to start with a paladin, another paladin <laughs> again. <laughs> uh, and I then I want to push myself. Then I want to I want to uh, level a warrior. Yeah, I, I think I think that warrior is known as one of the yeah. most difficult. So big that's why that. I want to do it. I I, I like that. If I, can I like do that. It. It might it might take me a long time. <laughs> really, really, really. <laughs> or many attempts. Or many, I believe many, in you, many man. Attempts. Uh, but yeah, I, I I don't know. It's I know people have differing opinions on it. Um, but uh, the the way that that the challenge of doing that has been expressed to me 
uh, just seems like one that I want to take. Got it. I love that. Good luck to you guys then. Thank you. Same. All right. Uh, thank you so much for the interview again. And nice meeting you guys. See you guys in Azeroth, I guess. Then. Yeah. yeah. Sounds See you great. there. Thanks so much. Okay. Thank, thank you, you very much. So much. Nice meeting Bye -bye. you. Bye. Bye.